Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Matt here. I hope your day is going great. I'm here to talk a little bit of crypto, the daily crypto grind. Um, first of all, I just want to plug my Discord group uh, a little bit. Uh, I made some calls this morning and yesterday night that if you followed my yesterday night's call and you held it through the night, you would have made 60%. So um, big gains, getting called out there uh, every day. Join with the link in the description. Um, say what's up to me. And go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel to get more info, all the good stuff. Um, so let's get into it. We're going to be talking about Binance. Uh, Binance is a crypto exchange platform that does not deal in U.S. dollars. So they only deal in Bitcoin, Ethereum, their own Binance coin, and Tether. So don't confuse this with U.S. dollar because it's not the U.S. dollar. Um, so since Bitcoin's been following the past couple days, um, once I saw the bearish trend, I moved everything to Ethereum and I've been just kind of rolling with that um, since then. So I'm making all my trades in Ethereum right now. The market as a whole is pretty down. Um, everything's getting kind of destroyed. But I'm really into... Uh, Sub, which is Substratum, uh, and Icon, ICX. So I'm actually going to make an I Icon purchase pretty soon here. Um, just liquidated some more funds. Uh, so let's get to it. Um, the indicators that I'm going to be using are RSI, love me some RSI, and I'm going to use the VWAP, so volume weighted average price. So what I'm looking at is to see kind of what's going on with the VWAP. Um, see the Bollinger Bands here. So basically what, what's, what I'm seeing right now is when the top and the bottom band are close to this middle line, that means that your price is pretty stable and in control. And when it separates out, it means that uh, a lot of variable um, volatility is coming in. So when it spreads out, it always has to come back in. So if it starts getting really wide, you know that it's about to start getting back in. Um, sorry, allergies are kind of bad right now. Um, so I'm looking at it on a 30 minute. I kind of mix all of these things in just to be able to see what's going on. So this bottom line is a 100 day moving average. I think it might be 99 on here. Um, so you can actually see by pressing this button. I'm looking at seven in red. 25 in yellow and 100 in purple. And I'm also seeing my RSI. I have it on a 30 minute chart right now um, just because I'm trying to find trends. And then when I actually figure out if the trend is bullish or not, I'll drop into a five or one minute chart and uh, start playing it off of there. Um, everything is looking pretty down right now. Is a bummer because I want to make some good trades, but I don't know if it'll happen. I'll just might have to show you how to buy in and then we can go from there. So I have some Ethereum in here. Um, just kind of a live tutorial of what I'm looking at. These are all the different orders um, that I've been going through. This is the order book so I can see what's coming up, what's like a big wall at 3533. Three, three. Again, everything is in Ethereum. Uh, it does break it down by dollar next to it, so you can see like what it's what it's at. Um, this was actually about two hours ago at 290, so we're in a pretty big um, downtrend here. Uh, $2.90 USD. So the other coin that I've been watching is Verge. XVG, um, and it also hit some highs, and Asia is just not liking it right now. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my positions here, uh, whether I cut a loss and just average out for the day, or whether I try and hold it. Um, I can see right here, I'm going to wait just a little bit and see if it'll bounce off this 100 moving average. Um, generally, if it bounces off here, it should go up a little bit. Um, so we'll see, let me look at it on an hour. Two hour. 
So you can see it kind of bounce off this and they all start spreading out here. Um, but we're getting some big candles in here, so need to figure out what I'm going to do. Um, same with this. So let's look at ICX on a five minute chart. So anytime you have a crossing of the moving averages, it's a, it's a trend indicator, right? So right away we know um, this is a bullish, I mean a bearish trend on the, uh, on the five minute chart. It's crossing over on the 100 moving average, which is not great, but it's really important if the yellow crosses over on the moving average. So if the yellow bounces, because the red is, it's a shorter period, so it's gonna be moving around a lot more. Um, but if the yellow bounces on the purple, it's gonna be great. And if the yellow goes through the purple, it's not going to be good for the coin. So it's a really quick thing to do, but at the same time, look at the RSI. It's uh, getting into oversold territory with low volume. Um, let's look at another indicator and just kind of see if we can make any sense out of all of this. So the VWAP is the variable or the, uh, the weighted average price. Um, so right away we can see that the average price is up here and it's a bearish trend. Um, moving average, crossing. So let's look at the bands, the bowling bands. Um, so what you're seeing here is when the top band and the bottom band um, spread out, you know that your prices are um, very volatile for the time frame. Let's look at another 30 minute. And whenever it's really volatile, it's got to come back together. It's got to consolidate. Uh, it can't just keep spreading out. So you want to try and find that true mean and really buy, buy there. Um, so I'm going to go back to my EMA, Let's see if we can bounce again. Now I'm going to be looking at it on the five minute. So I actually do like the, uh, the point of entry right here um, in the 240s and 250s. Let's look at it on the one hour and see if we can find. So it's looking like just a preliminary support would be around right where it's at, 355. Just what I can see right off the top. You can see um, that it hits that line going across the screen a couple times, about two or three times. It's there right now. I would think that that's the support. It's at 255. So what I'm going to do is I is actually going to type in 3600, so that works out well. I'm going to go back to my five minute. I'll actually drop it to a one minute now. What I'm doing is I'm just trying to get a read for what's happening, right? So I saw it bottom out here. It should start swinging this up if the volume will pick up. You can see by this candle, this big green candle, that there was a lot of a lot of selling, but all the buyers packed in, and then right at the end of this candle, the buyers were actually winning. So that's a good sign. But then it was followed by this big sell again. So we're at thirty-five four one, which is two forty-six. I'm gonna let it just hang out just a little more. Um, I definitely want to inch, like enter below 250 here, um, so I'm just going to keep watching it, just kind of backing back and forth between all these different times, uh, seeing what what's really happening here, kind of moving between my indicators, looking at different types of uh, support and resistance lines. So again, I can see these peaks right here are right at the trough of this big pink candle, which means that the support was hit where this, these resistance were hit, so that's really good. So these resistance are still strong enough for this support as of right now. Um, RSI is starting to get oversold. I want it to get a little more oversold before I buy, so I feel a little more confident. Um, but 246 is a good price here. 
Um, this coin was at two, I think it broke three, it was like 306 um, a couple hours ago. So big gains there if you could have bought and sold at this peak. Um, I wasn't at my computer, but you could have seen this double top here. So you see the big, big spike up, a little bit of consolidation, which is normal, but then it hits the double top and then a big candle comes in. And then when it crosses here, you would want to sell. Um, and that's a sell sign, that's a sell signal right there. And it's gonna keep going down. And then another second sell signal, which is stronger. So now it's at 244, so I know that I am not gonna be buying until I see a bullish, uh, some bullish signs. So I would need to see a little more volume, a little more momentum before I start buying. Uh, I wanna see a cross of this 100 moving average. And then I would also want to see um, this volume, this estimated moving volume. I actually like the uh, OBP better. So one way to read this bottom chart here um, is to, if it hits a high of the day and the volume is at a high of the day and it's followed again by another one, Generally means it's going to go down a little bit, um, which it did. But if it if it's at, if you see like right here, this is a buy signal right here. Sorry, my computer's a little laggy because of filming, but this is a buy signal because um, it's a brand new peak of the trough or peak. It's a brand new peak, so this is a buy signal. And look what it would have gotten us. It would have lifted us up. So again, I'm just trying to look at all these different signals, 244 to 248. So there's a little bit of a swing there. Um, if you're looking at it on a one minute, you can actually trade all these different swings. Try to try to trade all different swings. It's really hard to find bottoms and things like that. Um, but this is a big candle coming in. Uh, still bad momentum though, so I am not going to be buying yet on ICX. But ICX is a great coin, guys. Um, really recommend it called this one out uh, in my group and I made a lot of money. I hope some other people made some money, but there's a lot of talk that this is gonna be the next NEO. So um, if you didn't know, in June of 2017, NEO was about $2 and now it's about $60. So that's a 30X, which I would love to have 30X right now. So I will be trading this um, and holding, huddling, whatever. Uh, so let's also look at Verge. See what's going on there. Um, 14, 1, 6, 1, not great. Um, bad momentum. So again, we want this top blue line, which is the 100 moving average, to be at the bottom. <laughs> that's that's the, best, uh, the best thing to be happening. This one is not oversold yet, so not great. Um, So I don't want to buy it yet on the one minute. Let's look at it on a five. But again, this is just kind of what I'm, I'm constantly doing when I'm trading, right? So today I made about 10% um, off of about an hour's worth of trading, just kind of playing the ups and downs of uh, this coin. So it can be done, but big sell signal right here um, of all of the different crossings. Um, so I probably would have sold right here. I definitely would have sold right here if I hadn't yet, because this is a total just bear trend, bad. Um, I'll probably wait for a moving average to cross before I even consider buying back in. Um, so yeah, we're just all over the place here. On the, yeah, so we see not bouncing right here. It looks like it's starting to go through, which is not a good sign. Um, yeah, computer super laggy right now. Um, so let's go ahead and look back at ICX since DRG is not doing it for me. Um, I like this this spot that we're consolidating at. I think it's still got a little more room to go down. Oh, and there's that RSI. 
bringing in some volume. I like it. I'll go ahead and buy this. 100%. Uh, so all I do is I just press whatever my price is. And I'll just go ahead and refresh the page so I don't have to worry about clicking up the numbers or typing in anything. So this uh, this is on the when you get into Binance, by the way, um, if I was to click a account, you would see all these different lines, and then there's a button that says Exchange, and I would click Exchange, and then Pro Pro version, and that's what gives you this one. There's also a basic one. Oh, I might wait now. I missed my shot. Oh, we're about to cross here. So that's good. Two forty four. I like it. And I'll buy. I always just refresh really quick so I can see if my order went through. It's just the fastest way of doing it. My order did not go through yet. So I'm at 3663. It's at 3688. It should have gone through. I'm right here. Um, Come on, feed me. Right now I have like a, uh, how much do I have of this? Got several hundred of them, really like them. And I plan on, uh, after I double my money, um, I'll take some out and I'll just play with house money and then move on to another trade uh, and leave the rest of the house money to accumulate over time. But, Let's see if it went through. This would be a successful trade. If it does, um, buying in on a big dip is always a great thing to do. And even if you have to, this is a great trading tip, um, even if you have to take a loss sometimes on another trade in order to buy into a dip that you really like, it's worth it. Um, I had to do that today. I took a 3% loss on a trade and but I made 10% on the trade that I went to. So um, take it with a grain of salt, but you gotta be careful, but it's worth it sometimes to uh, just hop into a trade, even if it might not seem like the best thing to do at the time, it can pay off if you know your indicators and you feel confident in that. 242, we're falling a little bit here. Let's see what's going on. Looking good on the one minute, but my computer's just not uploading. <laughs> Come on, feed me. Three six six three. Come on. Trying to pull it down just a little bit, just a little bit, just enough to get in here. So that's the uh, that's how you buy on Binance. Um, ooh, another coin I really like is on the Dipper. This chart is ugly on the one minute. It's pretty volatile. I bet if we put on the bowling band, it's gonna look crazy. Not that this one. Yeah. So again. Volatile, volatile, volatile. Nothing's really in the. Uh, look at these huge sell walls, though. So it's like no volume, no volume, no volume, no volume. Huge sell. No volume, no volume, no volume, no volume. Huge sell. Again, but we did bring in a little buy here. Let's look at it on a 30 minute just to see the overall trend. Big buying volume. It is consolidating a little bit. This was at like 70 today, so this could be a good buy for me. I do like the coin. Uh, it's a long-term coin for me again, but even my long-term term coins, I, I like to flip a little bit. I don't know why. It's just more fun. Um, look at it on the five minute. And get out of the bands. If 
about to cross on the five minute. <coughs> we can expect another big sell coming in here pretty soon. If it'll cross. So if this bounces, um, it's a good sign, it's healthy. And if it crosses, uh, big sell volume should be underway. We might push it to 51 cents, 52 cents. But that's how you trade. Um, subscribe to the video for more of these. Uh, I'll be trying to do some more live stream tradings now um, and let y'all just watch how I'm doing it. I don't know how, how much I'll be interacting with you during the live streams, but that's how you do it. Uh, just a couple of technical indicators in here. Um, I hope you got something out of it. Subscribe to the channel, uh, join the Discord, which is linked below, and make money in crypto land. Peace.